in the early days, we made so many mistakes. I don't know, <laughs> how long is this interview? Like 20 hours? I'm Andy Katz Mayfield. I'm one of the co-founders and co-CEOs of Harry's. Harry's is a vertically integrated men's grooming brand. Harry's was born out of a personal experience that I had. I'd run out of razor blades and they were locked away in a case, which I found to be somewhat absurd. Like I wasn't buying diamond jewelry, I was buying razor blades. And then I spent like $25 on four razor blades and some shaving cream and uh, felt like I was getting taken advantage of. I think there was a couple things that make it really hard to sort of be disruptive in this industry. One is that it's really, really hard to manufacture the product. Um, just the process to grind steel and get high quality, sharp, durable blades is a complicated process. And there's very few factories out there that do it. And historically, if you were gonna go sell product at retail, um, it was really hard to sort of compete for, for shelf space. And so for us, we're able to sell direct to consumers online, provide a completely different experience and not worry about you know, competing, you know, head to head. So when we sold, yeah, we sold out like, I think a week or 10 days after we launched something like that. And it was like, yeah, there's a part of it that's like, oh, awesome, like there's all this demand. And there was a part of it that was like, oh shit, like we gotta figure out how to go make more product. All the guys in our company just stopped shaving until we went back in stock, which was uh, amusing. We recognized pretty early on that being vertically integrated in this industry was going to be important because it's so hard to make the product. There's such scarcity of, of supply out there and manufacturers that can make high quality razor blades. We didn't necessarily know we were gonna be have the opportunity to buy a factory two months after we launched, but the town of Eisfeld, where the factory is located in Germany, is this small little German town. It's really rural. Our factory is the biggest employer. It is kind of part of the fabric of the town, and so it's it's not Soho for sure. Disruption, I think, is is looking at the status quo and just figuring out a better way to do something. We certainly like we're the disruptor right now, but like you know, disruptors often get big and then get disrupted, and like we'd like to not have that happen to us.